Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can activate and authorize the transaction SU53 or SU56 by default. So here I'm logged in with an SAP user with kind of like limited access with limited authorization to the SAP system. And for example, if I would like to execute the Miro to uh, handle incoming invoices, then I get the error message, you are not authorized to use transaction Miro. Okay, and normally the standard process is that if you get kind of like this information or this error message and you need access to the authorization, to the transaction, to some objects, whatever, then you normally enter SU53 in the OK code field, in the command field that you hit the enter field and Normally you shouldn't see this because in the SU53 we will have the ability to analyze the missing authorizations. You can hand over a screenshot, a list of uh, the missing authorization and then your SAP security department or the responsible person can handle these errors. So, and what is uh, yeah, kind of like the funny thing right now, we need the SU53 to handle missing authorizations, but you don't have the authorization to the SU53 and therefore you can activate the SU53 by default. And therefore I will go into um, another session another window with another SAP user and we can execute the transaction PFCG. I have already opened this up so if I had the enter I will come into this transaction and then you might have some roles that are assigned to mostly every SAP user so to handle the basic functionalities so that every SAP user gets by default. So and then for example here I have some kind of dummy role. You go into the edit mode, you go into authorizations to change authorization data and then you uh, enter manually and then you need the authorization object S underscore T code so this is the authorization object needed to execute transaction code so as underscore t code you go to uh, enter then we have within here so under t code um, for example let's open this up there we have the t code and then you can click to change and then you can simply enter the su 53. If you want to, you can also enter the SU56 to have this also um, by default, but I think the SU53 is the most important one. Then you click to uh, transfer. Then within here, you now have the authorization within this role to execute the transaction. Now you can uh, generate this role. Um, yes, click on generate. And then the profiles were updated. So if we go back, then now we see that we have our green light, not the yellow or red light. And this is perfectly fine. And now if I go once again to another SAP user, and then now I try to execute the SU53 enter now i can see that the sap user now has the authorization to execute the su53 and as mentioned here you get all the list of the failed authorization check this can be you can make a screenshot you can export it to hand this over to the sap security department whatever and then you can enhance also the missing authorization in this case for the miro and there is also one possibility to basically yeah, set up the SC53 by default. And therefore, let's go once again into this window with this SAP user. And therefore, I would like to open up the RSET11 first of all. And here you have the profile parameter auth slash T codes underscore not underscore checked. If we go to display, then we can see the, um, yeah, the metadata and here basically as mentioned um, with this profile parameter the transaction code checking 
will be disabled so in general so there won't be any locks this won't be um uh, possible anymore for every SAP so as you can might suggest or you might assume you should handle this carefully um, but this is a possibility then you can go to the RSET 10 transaction um, to your default uh, profile to your version um, then within the extended maintenance and in this case click on change and here we have the parameter already with no parameter value and there you can simply uh, double click or click to change and here you can enter SU53 hit the enter go back and now you can uh, save this click on yes and then yeah the parameter has been applied you can now activate your profile and uh, you have to restart your sap server your application server that these changes will be available but this is also a possibility how you can activate the su53 by default and if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video